Hello there. Welcome. Are you the two o'clock? Okay. Just make sure I've got your name down. Confirm your name for me. Yep. And your date of birth. Good. And uh, your home address. Okay. And just make sure I've got the right phone number. It says a uh, primary phone number zero two four one seven. Nine two three one. So it's changed. Okay, do you want to tell me the new one? Yep. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so, is it your first time visiting us here at the chiropractor? Mhm. Mm so your GP sent you. Yep, suggested it. Okay. Have you been to any chiropractor before? Okay, well, um, what we do here is we concentrate on the musculoskeletal system. So basically your bones. Mm -hmm. Things like posture, activity, so if you have a specific problem, we want to figure out why you have that problem, how we can ease it if there's pain and things, and what you can do to make it better. Yeah, we can also offer some treatments. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, okay. Well, um, I'm going to ask you a few questions before we start on the actual procedure just because I need to get a really thorough um, background on what the pain is and why you might be having it. Okay. Alright. So let me see. When and where did the pain start? Yes, time why? About two months ago. Okay. Mm-hmm. And whereabouts? So kind of the middle between your shoulder blades? Okay. Shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. Kind of into your neck tension as well. Okay. So you said that you feel it between your shoulder and kind of the base of your skull. Okay, anywhere else? Do you have any tingling sensations in your arms? Nothing like that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I want you to try and describe the pain for me. So is it sharp, dull, burning? Any of those describe it? Usually don't. Okay. So it's like an egg, but if you twist the wrong way, it's more of a pain. Like a sharp. Okay. Understand, yeah. The in your neck it's more of an egg. And would you say it was something that's continual, like chronic pain, or does it kind of come and go? It comes and goes, but it doesn't really go, it just kind of dulls, right? Yeah. Okay. So do you remember actually doing anything to start it? Did you fall? Were you in an accident? Bike, okay. 
And did you fall off your bike? Or... So you just kind of jerked yourself, right? Okay. Right, yeah, that makes sense. And could you tell me what kind of activities make it better or make it worse? So sitting for long periods can make it worse. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to go back on your bike? Not for too long, okay. And what about your neck? Is there any position you sit in that makes it slightly better? Okay. Can I ask what type of pillow you have at home? Memory foam, okay. And do you find that helps? Brilliant, yeah. You can get different ones. I mean, there's an infinite number of pillows and things you can get and different supports, but really you just want to figure out what works best for you. So if that's working okay, that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. Um, Just a quick look at some medical history now. Do you have any things like arthritis or osteoarthritis, osteoporosis in the family? and no history of anything bone related. Okay. okay, so I'm going to do a few tests on you now. Some of them might seem like they're not really for your visit, but I promise it's all totally necessary. I'm going to test your pulse first. If you could just give me your wrist, either is fine. Okay, let me just. Mm -hmm. Did you get your blood pressure taken before you came in to see me? Good. Okay, and now I'm just going to check your breathing. So, let me get my stethoscope. You don't have any pain when breathing or anything like that, any aches? Breathe in for me and hold it and breathe out and again in, hold it. around the back as well so if you can breathe in for me and hold it and out and in and hold it and out okay I'll come around the back on this side so fasten your shirt back up there. 
Okay, so that all looks fine. Let me just write that down. So your pulse is fine, and your breathing is fine, lung function and everything. Uh, now I'm going to test some of your reflexes, okay? Yes. <laughs> it's going to be totally painless. And I just have this little tool. Doesn't hurt, it's not sharp or anything. And I'm just going to touch some different points just to make sure all of your nerves are working as they should. So I'm going to do some on your face, okay? So just touch, 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 touch. touch. And now I'm just going to just zoom on your shoulder. Touch. 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 And this shoulder. Touch. 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 Mm -hmm. No pain at all? Okay, good. And now, just on your forearm. Just here. Your elbow, Graham. So just one, two, three. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, and you said there was a little problem. It's with your back mainly, isn't it? Okay, and your neck. So I'm just gonna lean around and just touch the very base of your neck just here and a little further down okay well all your reflexes are working perfect mm -hmm. so that's good let me make a note of that little test called the range of motion test mm -hmm. and basically oops, your sleeve <laughs> got caught sorry <laughs> um, where was it oh range of motion test I'm basically going to see how well your joints move okay do this, I'm just going to use my hands and I'm going to touch your shoulders first of all. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hold on to your shoulder and your elbow and I'm going to move your arm so it does this. <laughs> okay. Alright, so tell me if anything hurts. And if you can put both of your arms out straight, just three times for me. I'm just going to hold on to your elbows. Good. So when you were rolling your shoulders, was there any pain in your back? Like shoulder blades? Or... Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I want you to do now is roll your shoulders just like this mm -hmm. and I'm going to just feel under your shoulder blades when you're doing it yep, keep going and feel your shoulders okay alright, yeah and now 
now I'm just going to feel at the base of your skull mm -hmm. and I want you to move your head to the left and to the right just like that and then forwards and backwards okay are you ready? <laughs> so I'm just going to Mm-hmm. Yeah, your neck does feel a little stale. Yeah. There's no problems in your legs or ankles, knees. So what I'm going to do is just take a look at how you stand. I don't want you to slouch and I don't want you to stand like a sergeant major. <laughs> yes, just stand as you usually would. Just relax. It's mm -hmm. going to see if your shoulders are level. Yeah, they seem fine. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt when I put any pressure on them. And let me look from the side, just a look at your posture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can see instead of being straight, you're kind of like this. Um, it's very common with most people, really, um, especially taller people who tend to slouch. And if you work at a desk a lot, you tend to kind of hunch over. Be a little to do with the pain not going away as quickly as we would like. <laughs> okay. So now for the actual treatment, um, I'm going to do a little bit with you today. Um, I'm just going to kind of try and get your muscles moving, and get your spine more aligned, your shoulder blades relaxed. And I'm going to stretch your neck muscles. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to pop on some gloves. Just because I'm going to be getting a little close. So. so I'm going to place my hand at the back of your neck, okay? And I'm going to push your head forward until your chin touches your chest. It might feel a little uncomfortable. It shouldn't hurt, though. If it does hurt, I want you to tell me, okay? Then I'll stop. Okay. So, let me just... Okay. your head right to left. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me just that way. That way. And again. That way. And that way. Okay. 
little bit more stretched and relaxed. Good, okay. <laughs> now, what I want to do is try and loosen your shoulders. Yeah, your spine doesn't seem actually like the problem now that you've been able to move your neck around so easily. It seems it's more in the tenseness of your shoulders and of this area, so just across. So what I'm going to do is try and loosen them. So I'm going to take your arm, I'm going to give it a gentle tug, okay? Now there might be a couple of cracks, but it's nothing to worry about, it's just air pressure release in between the joints. Yes. So. I'm just going to shake it a little bit, and then the same thing, so I'll just start by shaking it. So I'll write down what we've done today. Yeah. I also want to just press on a couple of pressure points on your neck if that's okay. It should just ease some of the pain, relax your neck muscles a little so you're not as tense. Okay, so I'm just going to put my hands just behind your neck and just push a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. And then A little bit lower. Five, four, three, two, one. And then just here. And I'm going to use three fingers, okay? Just press five, four, three, two. You could even do that at home as well. Do you feel where I pressed? <laughs> yeah. So, how did you feel that went? Good, okay. I can suggest some exercises and things to do at home. I recommend some stretches, even really simple yoga. Nothing too extreme, I don't want you doing handstands or anything, but just things that stretch out the spine. I want you to imagine it's like a piece of elastic that needs stretching every now and then. Yeah. And I also want you to make sure you're stretching your arms, keeping your shoulders loose, and doing the various neck exercises. Yep. Yeah. I also 
also recommend you come back to us at least once more in um, two weeks. Is that okay? Okay, I'll write that down. Yes, so in two weeks, I want you to keep up the exercises. Um, and then I want you to tell me if it's feeling any better. If it is, that's brilliant. And if not, then we can look at a different kind of you all done. I hope you're feeling a little bit more relaxed and hopefully with these plans uh, your pain will start to fade and eventually disappear and you can get back on your bike. Okay well thank you so much for coming. I'll see you again very soon. Bye!